Hey there guys and welcome in. Today we're going to check out BenQ's flagship gaming projector with true 4K HDR resolution, quick refresh rates, and a bunch of other features your gaming monitor probably doesn't have. Let's check it out. We have ourselves a Ben Q X3100i gaming projector. Bring every detail to life. Now, the first thing I noticed when I picked up this box is it's got some weight to it. It's about 15 pounds to be exact. Let's see what's inside. First thing you'll come across is the Android TV, a power cable, a quick start guide. Looks like there's a couple of feet here and a stopper of some sorts. Then you come across the controller. It's a pretty premium feeling controller. Nice soft velvet buttons. Looks like there's the BenQ logo right at the bottom there. I mean, this really feels high quality. I like it. Now let's get a good look at the projector itself. We just gotta take this slight foam anti-static bag right off it. Shouldn't be too bad. All right, kick that off to the side. And uh, let's take a look at this back panel that we got here. Ugh, man, this thing, it's got some weight. Right. Looks like we have two HDMI ports, one with supporting eARC HDMI. We have ourselves a 12V trigger USB port. Looks like we got an optical cable here, as well as the RS-23 port and audio output port. All right, let's turn this thing over to the side and see what else we got. Looks like we have a power button, source button, and a few other quality of life buttons here in case we lose the controller, which is kind of nice. And then we go over here, it looks like we have a couple of sliders, a focus and zoom, and they move really well. All right, we're gonna rotate this to the face again for everyone's favorite part of new tech, the peel. Got the tab right here. We're just gonna give this a little lift and... Perfect, good peel. Now we're gonna take a look at the top, focusing in on this dial right here, the lens shift. This allows you to adjust 20% down or up as needed. Now we're going to take a look at the uh, device that came with the box, the NQ Android TV. This smart device is going to allow you to have integrated Netflix and streaming capabilities directly with the uh, projector. Underneath this cover is where the magic happens. We're going to turn it on its face and you're going to see two set screws, one here and here. And by the power of editing, we're just going to speed things along. We're going to take the first screw off, followed by the second, quick and easy. And then we're going to bring it back onto the top. It's going to be as simple as just taking this cover, shifting it back, opening the good bits on the inside. We have ourselves a hidden HDMI and micro USB port provided to power the dongle. We'll open up the box real quick. Inside, you'll see a little BenQ dongle. Looks like the micro USB port on the inside little serial number for registration and uh, just pop it in right here attach the provided micro usb power slot and just like that it should be all set going forward we're just going to reverse the order put the lid back on and re-put those screws back in screw one going back in here i like to hand thread them first screw two right down and there you go now we're going to see what's on the inside of the x3100i starting off with the 4k resolution 3300 lumens of brightness and a contrast ratio of 600,000 to 1, giving you a color space of 100% DCI P3. Now, let's not forget the picture modes that this projector offers between a bright RPG, FPS, RCG, cinema, HDR10, and many more settings that you can actually custom download using their special app. But more on that in a little bit. Now, I can tell you firsthand, trying out multiple games such as like Baldur's Gate. Hogwarts Legacy and Final Fantasy 7, this projector gave me such an immersive experience that I just could not stop playing any of these games. I actually had to like actively put the controller down and be like, I need to stop and I need to actually like work on stuff. This thing just was absolutely mind blowing. Now let's get into the projector I was using personally. By no means was there anything wrong with this projector. It did what I wanted it to do. It projected, it casted images, gameplays, footage and stuff behind me. I got to watch some movies. I got to play some games on it. It was a good projector. 
but I didn't know that it could be better. I mean, you just saw the change right there, right? I mean, I don't have to explain it. Well, I'm going to anyways. You can see that the color depth was better, the color range is more, and the clarity of the image in itself is just more vibrant. I really feel like I was in a movie theater, a cinema theater, an IMAX theater, whatever you want to call it. I was absolutely mind blown at what this projector can do. But now we got to remember that it's not just used for watching videos and stuff like that. This is an actual functioning gaming monitor. That being said, this projector has a better refresh rate, better color depth than the current gaming monitor I have sitting before me. With the variable refresh rates on 1080p going from 60 hertz to 240 hertz so 16 milliseconds, 8 milliseconds to 4 milliseconds, it's absolutely insane at how good this does. But it doesn't stop there. You can also play at 2K at 60 hertz and 4K at 60 hertz, giving you the best gaming experience possible. Now to give you an idea exactly how big the screen can be, I'm about 5'8". Like this thing is massive, absolutely massive from top to bottom, corner to corner, like Again, a 5.8. It doesn't seem like 110 inches, but this is exactly 110 inch from corner to corner. So covering all your gaming needs with true 4K resolution, cinematic sound technology, on-screen crosshair, auto game modes, and much more functionalities, BenQ has you covered with the X3100i.